there's going to be people who watch the this pod also because there are a lot of people who want to be stylists. Yeah, there's a lot, and I think they need to understand the little things that um, the game you could give them. So, what are those little things to help them get started? Yeah, in this profession that you could give them um, Mm -hmm. to get to where you are, and like I said, it's it's tough too because it's really all of who you know. It is. I mean, it's definitely, I think like any industry, this, this particular industry is about relationships, Yeah. relationships with your clients, relationships with the vendors. And, and it's making sure your line of communication is open. I've gotten in trouble with that so many times because I get so overwhelmed by projects. I forget to hit somebody back Mm -hmm. or, um, making sure you're on top of your emails and you're saying thank you and um, your follow-up is is great. I think it's, for me, what helped me when I first started is doing all the things nobody wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was going to FedEx. I was getting the coffee. I was doing the receipts and reconciling the statements. Um, I think it was showing up in those ways which helped me stand out. Um, I think it's knowing that this is beyond like, I know how to dress myself, Mm. um, because everyone wants to look different and Mm. everyone's bodies are different and everyone's expectations of what they, how they show up in the world is different. And so it's not like, oh, well, I dress cool. I can dress somebody else. Cool. Doesn't quite work that way. And I think once you understand that, I think that will help you kind of sore in a way. Um, I think it's reaching out to people for mentorship. I think Mm. even now I say like, Rachel, I I believe was like the godmother of like, why we're even having this conversation. She Mm. was the first person to really say like, hey, athletes are tastemakers, they're influencers. There's a market here for aligning them with fashion. Mm -hmm. Um, men and women. And I think uh, she is the reason why we're even looking at the tunnels and what what people are wearing. But I think she taught me to be a really great assistant. I don't know if she taught me to be a really great business owner. Mm. And I think it's, I've even to this day, like still looking for a mentor that's like, can kind of guide me and I can have those conversations like, hey, I need to invoice for this. What does that look like? Or Mm. I I have this communication with this person. It's kind of got weird. How do I handle this? And I feel like being able to have somebody in the business world kind of share with you feedback in a candid way, like you're talking to your homies and it doesn't feel like, you know, awkward. Yeah, yeah. I want to be able to ask those questions that might seem stupid. Mm. Um, I think leaning into that type of mentorship is is important no matter what industry you're in, but especially in the creative world, because I think there's so much competition For that sure. I think we forget to talk to each other. Yeah. I um I went to see another stylist yesterday, Dexter Robinson, who he works for a lot of NBA players, but I think he's probably known more for NFL, mm-hmm. dressing NFL players. And I, it was such a great feeling to just chat with somebody who does what I do and mm-hmm. just like have a candid conversation like, yo, man, we did this and this was crazy or we did this and we can celebrate this. And I think we forget to engage with each other in that way because we're often in competition. Yeah, I think that's extremely important. And even if you're like, I really want to be a stylist, I'm not saying jump in my DMs because sometimes I forget to even look in Instagram. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying like, you know, shoot your shot. Like mm-hmm. email, say I want to ask questions. Um, I'm happy to, you know, always lend advice where I can. Um, I think mentorship, doing things people don't want to do, knowing social media is some bullshit. <laughs> um, <laughs> social media is like changing the game it's it's crazy. Like I mean I think it's super valuable and it's extremely important and I'm so glad like people are watching yeah. the tunnel and like people are and it's also turning into business opportunity yeah. for us athletes like I would like to think and I don't know if Chris would ever admit to this but like the way he shows up as Chris Paul off the court has impacted the businesses that he has. Yeah. I would like to think that. 1,000%. Um, 
knowing that this is like, it's hard. Like, yes, in theory, I'm like playing with clothes, but I'm also like, I got to figure out my accounting. Like I own my own business. So mm-hmm. I'm HR, I'm accountant, I'm assistant, I'm intern, I'm finance, I'm, I'm all of the things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think you have to realize that it's that. It's not like we're going shopping for the day. Yeah. Um, and I think that's really important because at the end of the day, like it's a small business and I have to run it. 